Let's take a look at the GeekSmart LF505 Smart Lock featuring fingerprint unlock, smartphone unlock, passcode unlock, RFID card unlock, and key unlock. Inside the box, first of all, we find the manual. Then we have this hole punching card. And then inside the box, we have, of course, the deadbolt. We have a door close sensor. Then we have a couple of screws here. And then we have some RFID cards. Last but not least, we have the door lock itself. And to the door lock, of course, there is some keys here. And the front panel itself. We also have the inside panel where you can lock and unlock the lock. Let's get started with installing the lock. First of all, you want to find the deadbolt. Take the deadbolt, make sure that the up arrow points up and insert it into your door. There you go. Just like so. And we want to use a screwdriver to fasten the deadbolt into the door so that it goes nowhere. Just like so. You want to install the front panel. Take the front panel and we fit it into the deadbolt. Just like so. You can see here that the screws protrudes goes through the deadbolt. We find the mounting panel or the mounting board here. And we fit it onto the back side of the door, right? So what we do here is we take the wiring from the front panel and we wire it through this little hole here on the mounting plate. Just like so. There we go. And then we make sure that the tail piece sticks out through the mounting panel as well. It makes us it makes the way easier to, to just go ahead and tighten them afterwards there you go now we can put on the back panel before we continue with the back panel we want to connect the front panel wire to the socket right here do pay attention to the switch down here if it is a right opening door, switch the switch to R for right. If it is a left opening door, switch the switch to L for left. You also want to make sure that the thumb turn is vertical position for right opening doors and horizontal position for left opening doors when you install the lock. It's a bit tricky if you have big hands, but I'm sure you will manage. There we go. Now take the wire and hide it inside the door so that it doesn't get crushed. And before we continue, you also want to make sure that the thumb turn here is turned vertically. I think I fitted it nicely in there. Oh, that was easy. As you can see there and there, these also need to be screwed. So we find our very, very small screws there and we fit them in there. We are almost done 
let's make sure that our installation is correct. So we find out on the turn here and we turn it. Seems to work all right. Let's put some batteries in here to get this thing running, right? One, two, three, four batteries. And we hear reaction, so that's great. Let's try and push this button right here to see if it works. Right there. This should lock the door. Oh, unlock it. Perfect. Battery cover. Screw it in. Alright, now our lock is ready to use.